so small, like 15 to 20 minutes, is because it will take a long time to upload. Okay, so uh, we chose 40. So I have f of x equals mx plus 1, and the interval is 0 to 2. Perfect. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, so we know that the average value is 1 divided by 2 minus 0. I'm going to write it like this. The integral from 0 to 2 from mx plus 1, I was, I'm always writing mx plus b, so mx plus 1 dx. Good. So the number in front is 1 half. Which function prime is mx? Of course, is mx squared divided by 2. Which function prime is 1? That is x. And we evaluate from 0 to 2. Yay! When I plug in 0, it's 0. I don't have to worry about it. So it's 1 half. When I plug in 2, 4 divided by 2. So that would be 2m plus 2. Yes, I will distribute because I noticed that the answer will be m plus 1. So whatever m is, we don't have it. But whatever m is, that will give us the average. The average m plus 1 is the average value of this function only on the interval 0, 2. So imagine um, that we have a function um, that will give us, if, if let's say, is the temperature per day. So this is the value of the function. This is the function uh, expression. And we want to find the average value of the function. This is what we need to do. So the average temperature um, within two hours, let's say from midnight till 2 a.m. or from noon till 2 p.m., that's the average value of the function. Do we need to practice the average value with anything else, or can we look at areas uh, enclosed by graphs? Do we think we need another example? Okay, you let me know. Area enclosed by graphs. Let's start with one that is given to us because in general it will not be given to us. What I mean to say is the graphs will not be given, we have to graph them. But let's start with, the, with one that uh, we see here, either 13 or 14, and I think there is something uh, maybe on the previous page. Let's take a look. You choose. Find the area of the shaded region. This is very powerful. It's a very powerful tool. So. Um, in problem 11, we have the area between negative 1 and 1. In uh, problem 12, we have between negative 15 and negative 17. I'm sorry, between ne uh, forgive me, between negative 5 and 3. Between negative 5 and 3. And you choose. And the top here is between uh, x equals negative 1 and x equals 4. And the last one between x equals 1 and x equals 4. Which one uh, would you like to work with? 14. 14, perfect. So I'm going to copy 14. I'm going to copy the two functions, f of x equals 4x minus x squared. Lucky me, so to speak, because I do not need to graph them. They're right there. So, But I'm going to present the graph here on paper so I can explain. So I'm going to graph um, the green one like this. So that's G and the red one passes through the origin. I see it and also through four. Okay, got it. So this is F of X. And I see that the intersection is when X is one and when x is 4. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing now. So here's the area that we need, we're asked to uh, determine. So as you see, the area is enclosed by function f and function g. These are the two points of intersection. I don't care for the y value, it's given to us. We are determining the points. But I, what I'm interested in is that the area exists between x equals 1 and x equals 4. So this is the shaded area that I need to determine. So the area is always determined 
between, in this case, between 1 and 4, points of intersection, from the top function minus the bottom one, of course, dx. So then the area will be the integral from 1 to 4. Top function is f of x, and I copy it, minus the bottom function, the green function, which is this. You can put another parenthesis, nested parentheses or brackets if you want, or distribute negative 1 to all three terms right now. x squared plus 6x minus 8 dx. Top function minus the bottom one. So in this case, red minus green. Yes, I have to combine like terms, fully simplify the integral from 1 to 4. This is negative 2x squared and then plus 10x and minus 8 and dx. This calculation will be a number. And the number for the areas enclosed between functions like this will always be a positive number. I can't say that this area is a negative area. It's enclosed. So if I have this area, the area cannot be zero or negative, right? Okay, so let's finish it up. And then we'll look at examples in which the graphs are not given. We have to graph, we have to find the points of intersection, and then we have to find the, the top minus the bottom functions and determine the area. I'll let you choose in a minute. So negative 2, x to the third over 3, plus 10, x squared over 2, minus 8x. Of course, from the points of intersection for the x values, the x, 1 to 4. Okay. Stop if you have questions. Is everyone with me so far? Anyone, please? Anyone? Any questions, please? Anyone? Okay. So I'm assuming you will let me know if you have anything. So negative 2 thirds. I plug in 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Plus 10 divided by 2, 5, times 4 squared, 16, minus 32, minus, I plug in 1, parentheses. When I plug in 1, negative 2 thirds, and plus 5, and minus 8. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So negative 128 over 3, plus... I think this is 80. Um, yes, minus 32. Now, this is positive 2 thirds. And this is negative 3 with minus in front plus 3. Okay, negative 128 uh, plus 2. Negative 126 over 3. Um, 83 minus 32. 83 minus 32, right, so it's positive 51. Okay, so can I simplify this? Yes, whoa, yes, yes. Negative 43. No, negative 42. Negative 42, yes, plus 51. So the answer is 9. 9 square units, whatever that is. So this entire area, enclosed by these two functions, has nine squared units. Nice. I didn't expect to simplify so nicely. Okay, so that was um, a nice situation in which we were given the graphs. We didn't have to work too hard. So before we look at applications of what we just discussed, I want to look at any problem from 15 through 30 to 33 in which we have a much more endeavor because um, we have to graph those functions, we have to find the points of intersection, we have to shade in the area, and then we have to find the area. And then we can look at any application that you would like to look at. Okay, I'm ready. Anyone?
Anyone? Did I lose you? You 25. Okay, 25. Very good. Nice pick. Y equals 5. Y equals the score of X and X equals 0. It's a very good warm up problem. Excellent. Okay, so first I have to graph. So here's the first one x equals 0, right? This is x equals 0. The y axis, vertical line, x equals 0. So this is x equals 0. Done. What about this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a horizontal line, y equals 5. Done. Now I have to graph y equals the square of x. So the area is enclosed by three different graphs. One, two, and I know that this will be the graph of the square of x. I don't know where it will cross, but I know it will eventually cross. I can only simply set this equal to each other, y equals y, the square of x equals 5. So then the square of x equals 5. When I square both sides, I have to do that. I get x equals 25. So 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So I'm going to say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And here is the graph. And this is the graph of the square of x. So obviously, this is the area that we are asked to determine. I could have not chosen a better problem. Thank you. It's perfect for what we are trying to do first. So I need to determine, and I need to know the limits, right? The limits of the area on the x-axis, of course, are from 0 to 25. There is no question there. Now I have to identify the upper function minus the lower function. How come that we do that? Here's why. I determine this area and I subtract this area. That's why. So this is the area that we subtract this area. So that's how we get that. So top function minus the bottom function. But the top function is 5. The bottom function is the square of x, and of course, dx. This calculation will guarantee to give us the enclosed area. There is nothing we need to do with this. This was just telling us where to stop or where to start. Well, the square of x will not exist to the left-hand side anyway. So that's what... Say it again. We are. We are including it. So it's between 0 and 25 from the upper function minus the lower function. So then this is 5 minus, remember this is x to 1 half. So minus x to 1 half plus 1, 3 halves over 3 halves from 0 to 25. Yay, I don't have to plug in 0. I have to plug in 5. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have to plug in uh, 0 because when I plug in 0, everything is 0. So 5x prime is 5. And when you differentiate this, you get the square root of x. Okay, so I only need to plug in 25. So 5 times 25 minus flip 2 thirds times 25 raised to 3 halves. Now, our next step. So uh, five times twenty-five is a time five times twenty-five is one twenty-five. The same thing here. The square root of twenty-five is five. Five to the third. So minus two thirds times five to the third is the same thing. One twenty-five. Five times five twenty-five. Twenty-five times five one twenty-five. 
uh, you know me, I like to um, factor out. And then one minus two thirds is one third. And can I simplify this? No, I cannot. So this is final. Units squared, then this is this area. The shaded area be among these three curves. Very good question. Very good question. Thank you. Okay, would you like to pick?